Welcome to our free online global seven day retreat, Rebirth of a New You, uh, Rebirth a New You. Um, the subject of rebirthing um, lately in the past couple of years has been very hot and uh, seems like it's a hot topic in the pseudo spirituality. And um, let's put some light on what, is, what does it mean to rebirth and um, get more clear about it before we go forward. So this seven day uh, retreat is going to be about that. And uh, it's gonna be rebirthing. And rebirthing is nothing new. Uh, rebirthing does not belong to pseudo spirituality of a trend that's been happening in past maybe five or 10 years. It's been uh, in the ancient spiritual culture and the mysticism ever since the ever since. So all myst uh, mystic cultures, whether Egyptian or Persians, Hindus, um, Christians, the Jews, um, the Africans, they all have, and Native Americans, all the mysticism, the have been involved in rebirthing. So rebirthing is not something new and rebirthing is not that you do some breath work because a lot of people that these days I come across, they're associating a rebirthing workshop with breath work, which breath work is a part of it, but that's not rebirthing, okay? So let's become clear and put some light on what we're doing, why we're here, what's the purpose, and where are, where are we gonna go to? What's the point? Why did we gather together and why is it we're doing what we're doing? Number one is rebirthing is heavily associated with death. So one has to become very comfortable with dying before rebirthing. So let's talk about that part, a part that culturally is a taboo and it's something that we're not supposed to talk about it's not for the kids, it's only for the adults to speak about, and it's always being spoken in a hush-hush way and not in an open communication. The death of the organism is inedible, uh, inevitable. All appearances on the consciousness, anything that appears, on consciousness will disappear. It's got a period, a duration that is going to be here. It appears and it disappears. And it appears and it disappears. Each and every one of us here is an appearance. It's an expression of the absolute. It's an expression of God. Consciousness, which is the substratum of everything, and there is nothing outside of consciousness, is always here. And that's where you derive your intelligence and your presence from is from the totality of the being. Consciousness here, right now, as the only thing that 
there is. So it is the very background of everything. It is the fabric of everything. It is the air that you breathe. If you were not able to breathe, then you would die in a few moments. There won't be any life. Water, you can hang in there for a few days. Food, you can do for 20 days or longer. But air, it's a matter of a couple of minutes. And then life is over. So the what I would like to point out to and bring your attention to, so it becomes more clear understanding, is that there is the life force, which is here. And it's always been here. And it never goes anywhere. The presence, the being, so for one moment, just shift your attention to a very simple matter, simple equation, just by bringing our attention from one place and you shift your attention to another place. So in this shift that you're doing, you're going from a place that it has a source of an appearance that is eternal and it's important and it keeps going. Like your life. So for a moment, just take your attention from that place. How important your life is, your plans, your desires, your family, your spirituality, where you want to get to and do. And shift your attention into this place of Like you're looking at everything in your surrounding as if you have no definition for it. If you're looking at a TV screen, you're looking at a stereo, you're looking at me, you're fooling around with your cat, you're, whatever you're doing. Don't have a definition for it for a moment, Just simply Look at something or whatever you're engaged with without a definition. Don't define it. For example, if I'm gonna look at my cell phone, I look at it as an object without analyzing it, what is it? It's simply an object, but if I have no previous memory from the past, I have no idea what this is. It's simply an object. And what differentiates this from this other remote? This is a remote control for air conditioning. So if I'm looking at them innocently, I absolutely have no idea what they are and I have no definition for it and if my understanding or mental or my mind is primitive it's a primitive mind then it definitely cannot figure any of these things out it simply looks at it as if they're just objects so what i'm saying is that initially for us to understand, this is what I'm trying to relay and share with, with you regarding the concept and the idea of rebirthing, 